Hey guys, welcome to a new 100 second tutorial and today I will show you how to do uh, motion tracking in an open source um, program that's for free. So hope you enjoy it, let's go. So the program is called HitFilm Express and um, it's actually like a reduced program of After Effects or rather um, visual effects programs and it offers a tool for, um, for motion tracking. We will make first of all a composite shot. Um, yes, that sounds perfect. And yeah, you actually know this um, work workspace from After Effects. And um, what we want to do first is we would like to um, do uh, a track point, okay? So we have a tracker with a track point. And now um, we will try to track this uh, clock right there, okay? So this one, because we want to um, have a graphic that shows the time, okay? The current time. So let's select our tracking point. Um, go a little bit. About 66. This is where the clock comes in, and um, this is our tracking point. We will now add this to a point that is um, yeah, that stands out of the image. Okay, you can actually add anything you want, but the tool needs to know. Okay, there there's a bit of contrast, and um, there's the point where I need to place my tracking point. And now, as we have this, um, and we'll just zoom out a little bit more, we can um, do auto uh, tracking, okay? This is frame by frame, and this would be um, the whole clip, but I will do it frame by frame so I can adjust any folds that come with them. Okay, we will not go like into very detailed tracking just to give you an overview how it's possible to do so. That looks also okay. So now we have a lot of motion blur in it, so that's where we need to um, do some adjustments on it. Good. So let's start with that. Um, we have selected our tr tracking points, okay? Um, let's just go to scale to fit again. We have selected our tracking points with the clock. And now I would like to send these informations to our graphic, okay? So how do we do this? Um, first, we, I have my graphic right here. It's it called um, 222. Uh, AM and let's put this over there okay now we see the layer but we want to have the viewer so it's a PNG file basically and we put it up there and now we've selected our uh, other layer and now we will go to our tracking point and use the layer we, we added okay where our time is set and we will click apply and now we will just change the anchor point. That's really important, not, not change the positioning because the position uh, parameter is um, already affected by the tracking point, okay? So the information from the tracking point um, is already at our position point, okay? And now you will see it's tracked to, to our clock, okay? It's a very short clip. You can, of course, add frames and stuff to it, but um, it actually works okay. For, for shots like that, it's a perfect tool. Okay, if you have more complex shot with more movement and um, different things flying around, the software will go on the limit. But um, for these basic tracking stuff, it's a good software and now we can um, yeah, export our image right here and um, have our file with our selected um, visual effect with our clock. 
So hope you liked the video and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.